Hey, I'm Hugh. Come from a small surf town called Raglan in New Zealand. Raglan is known for its world-class left-hand surf breaks. Uh, it also has world-class kite surfing. Uh, we have a huge harbour mouth which creates a six to eight knot outgoing current. So if the kite's just flying on the beach, once you get in the current, you're powered. So when there isn't any waves or wind, then we also have a clover skate bowl down in town and we've got an indoor six foot half pipe up here as well. So you can be riding a board every day. I've been involved in the kite surf industry now for 10 or so years. I started out making some of the early kite boards and then went on to instructing, worked in retail, um, designing accessories and most recently I've been involved with this Cabrina uh, control system. Product designs come so far in the last few years. We're now using 3D printing, which means that we can take the CAD model out of the computer, print it off in the matter of a few hours, have it in our hands, rig it up to a control bar, be down to the beach in five minutes testing it. These files can also be sent through to Maui. They can be out testing in the same afternoon, sent through to the factory, and they can be producing parts. It's it just means that we can be testing a lot more prototypes before the product comes to market. So what we wanted was a super simple push away release. And then we wanted the reload to be really easy and intuitive. So when you release, the end of this harness loop is connected to a pin. And so by activating the release handle, that releases the top of the pin, which pivots out and lets this hoop at the end of the harness loop go. So both parts are polished stainless steel, and that makes them extremely frictionless. So when you reload it, it can, all you have to do is plug it in this hole, and that locks onto the bottom of the pin, and then by dropping the handle that locks the pin in place so the end of the harness loop can't be released. One of the unique things about this system is when you release it, the handle actually stays up on these little posts. And so rather than having to hold this release handle up with one hand and use your other hand to push the hoop in, it enables you to just with one hand push the hoop in and with that same hand release the handle back down again.